And so there you go, direct from my kitchen, GTC 2020. We talked about a lot of stuff. Let me quickly summarize. The first thing we talked about was how accelerated computing is accelerating a momentum and that we're taking it to the next level, to data center scale computing. Where accelerated computing and data processing and networking are both vitally important. I'm delighted that Mellanox and NVIDIA are now officially one company. The second thing we talked about was how real-time ray tracing, after all of these years, has enabled next generation of computer graphics. An omniverse could be created with portals for designers with different tools in different places, doing different parts of the design at the same time. They're able to do that because the world is interactively lit. It is physically based. It obeys the laws of physics and it could be created in real time. We call that Omniverse, and we're shipping it on RTX server. The third thing we talked about was NVIDIA AI. Machine learning is the greatest challenge of HPC today. And machine learning has three basic stages. The data preparation, the training of the model, and the inference, the deployment, the production of the model. I spoke about the data preparation of the machine learning pipeline and how the amount of data that is being processed is growing from tens of terabytes to hundreds of terabytes to very, very soon petabytes of data. The leading compute engine is called Spark. Spark takes an entire data center and it turns it into a compute engine, partitioning the large amounts of data into small chunks that are processed in clusters of computers. After several years of endeavor, today we announced the acceleration of Spark 3.0. NVIDIA now has the entire pipeline of machine learning from data processing to inference through training, all completely accelerated. I also spoke about two of the most important machine learning pipelines in the world today, the recommender system, the machine learning system that predicts user preferences for billions of people and trillions of items collecting an enormous amount of data about objects, about users, about usage patterns, and by doing so, create a predictive model of your preferences. We created an application framework called NVIDIA Merlin that simplifies this enormously complicated distributed computing machine learning pipeline called Recommender Systems, NVIDIA Merlin. We also spoke about conversational AI, recent breakthroughs in speech recognition, natural language understanding, and speech synthesis has made it possible for us for the very first time to imagine creating an AI model that allows you to have natural conversations. We created a conversational AI framework that codifies the entire pipeline with state-of-the-art AI models that are pre-trained and optimized and tuned for performance and fast response. The entire pipeline can respond in just a couple of two, three hundred milliseconds. As a result, you can have a reasonable conversation, interactive conversation with an AI agent. Jarvis is used by enterprises around the world to adapt it to their domain, answer healthcare related questions, insurance questions, financial services questions. It is now possible to retrain Jarvis for your domain. Conversational AI is now democratized. And right here from my kitchen, we announced the shipment of our Ampere GPU and the data center GPU A100. Ampere is a miracle. Ampere is the largest and most complex processor the world has ever made. TSMC 7 nanometer, 54 billion transistors connected to 1.5 terabytes of HBM2 memory on a 3D package called CoWAS. This processor goes into the DGX1. It's a third generation Tensor Core, has a peak throughput 20 times greater than Volta, the most advanced processor in the world today. A100 is 20 times the peak for training, 20 times the peak for inference of V100. It has a brand new architecture called MIG, multi-instance GPU. It could be configured as one or seven or something in between. MIG allows Ampere to be used as scale up for data analytics or training, as well as scale out for public cloud instances or inference. 
This is our first GPU that has such incredible throughputs and has the ability to configure itself into a large or small GPU. It's connected also by our next generation NVLink, 600 gigabytes per second, 10 times the bandwidth of PCI Express Gen 4. DGX A100 is the most advanced AI instrument in the world. It is designed for the entire pipeline of machine learning, from data processing, to training, to inference. It is the first computer we've ever built that is unified for all of those workloads, whether scale up or scale out. The NVIDIA DGX A100 is in production today, has the equivalent performance of 150 high-end servers, well over a million dollars. DGX A100 is available today for $199,000. The more you buy, the more you save. We also talked about the coming together of IoT, the Internet of Things, and artificial intelligence, creating this brand new opportunity called Edge AI. This is the beginning of the smart everything revolution. There will be trillions of things connected to the internet. With intelligent AI services, you could just imagine the scale of this opportunity. You have already heard us announce in previous keynotes how we're working with Walmart, who is using NVIDIA EGX for smart retail, or USPS using NVIDIA EGX for the highest logistics sorting operations in the world. Today, I announced that BMW has selected NVIDIA and the EGX and the Isaac robotics platform to create their next generation factories. That was a busy GTC. It is great to have all of you. I wanna thank all of you for partnering with us. And I wanna particularly recognize all the researchers, scientists, artists, and designers that take advantage of our platform to invent the future. One more treat for you. This is something that I'm supremely proud of. NVIDIA is one of the companies in the world that has assembled a great team of designers and architects and software programmers and scientists and AI researchers, computational mathematicians, as well as incredible artists. The fusion of art, engineering, and science all under one roof is one of the things that really inspires me. I wanna share with you the behind the scenes of the creation of the video, I am AI. I think you're gonna love it. Please enjoy and see you next time.